Your Android phone keeps you connected to your friends and family in a lot of different ways. Not only can you make and receive calls, send and receive texts, stay on top of your email, manage your calendar, but you can also stay connected with today's most popular social networks, namely Facebook and Twitter. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to synchronize Facebook on your Android phone. Most of the new phones already ship with Facebook pre-installed, so we're going to be going on that premise that you already have the Facebook app um, in your app drawer or your launcher. You can check that by clicking down here, um, and it may vary depending on the phone that you have, but you'll open up your launcher, and somewhere in this list you'll find Facebook if it's already installed. You may have to do some scrolling, uh, but this list is in alphabetical order, so find Facebook, and uh, provided that it's already pre-installed, just go ahead and click on it to open it up. Now, I've already entered in my username and password, my email address for my Facebook account. You'll have to do that. The login information that you'll use here is exactly the same as how you log into Facebook on the computer. So go ahead and enter in your email address and your password. This will be the only time that you have to do it. Your phone will remember that login information from here on out. Once you've got that information keyed in, go ahead and hit the blue login button. The phone will get you signed in. And the first screen that it will take you to will be a configuration for uh, syncing of your contacts. This is really handy, uh, probably one of the most underutilized ways of which the Facebook application works with your phone, but that's to sync it up with your friends and family um, that you have in your uh, address book on your, already on your phone. So the way that I always recommend people to set it up is by using the sync all option here at the top. So you want to go ahead and click on that and change that selector, that button, to sync all. That's going to make it so all your friends and family who have their phone number, email address, anything like that listed on their Facebook profile, even if you don't have them in your address book already, it'll make an entry for them with their name, their profile picture from Facebook, their current status update, uh, as well as their phone number and email address that they have listed, uh, which is nice. You know, it's, it's nice to have all that information, even if you don't already have it in your phone. Facebook brings it right to you in your uh, address book that you're, you're familiar with already. So go ahead and change that selector to Synchronize All and hit the Next button. This one just gives you some helpful tips um, how to use Andro or Facebook for Android to the best of its ability. It tells you a little bit about what it can do. Um, we're going to skip over that for now. Just go ahead and hit the Finish button. Now what's going to load is the, your news feed. So just like on the computer, just like on Facebook when you log in on the computer, you've got your news feed with your friends, family, their updates of status, uh, pictures that they've posted, videos that they've shared. You see all that here. Uh, so this is your news feed. You can update your status. Whoops. You can update your status right from this window. Uh, it'll pop up your keyboard and you can share an update. You can update a picture, upload a picture that you've already taken, and you can do a search all from this single page. If you press the back button on the bottom of your phone, though, it'll take you back to the main menu. Main menu is going to be the screen that pops up every time you load the Facebook app. And this is kind of how you navigate around um, different parts of Facebook. So previously, we were just looking at the news feed. To get to that, you, you tap here on the first icon. That takes you to the news feed. Um, and you can update that by pressing the menu button and then refresh. And that will update your news feed uh, manually so you get the most current information. Back to the main menu, the next option is Profile. This will pull up your personal profile. You'll notice the three tabs along the top for your wall, information, and for your photos. This also has a dedicated place for you to do another status update. Next item is Friends. If you click on this, this will load your entire Friends list, everybody who you're friends with. You can also search for people that aren't your friends if you want to add them or send them a friend request. Uh, then you have Photos, Events, and messages, which are your inbox messages, so not only can you receive, but also reply to messages that you receive on Facebook, and then friend requests. If you have any pending requests, you'll go here to approve or deny them. Uh, down towards the bottom, you've got a photo stream, which is a new feature that they've just recently added, pictures that your friends share. You'll just see a stream of that down along the bottom that you can scroll through, and uh, when you see a picture that you want to take a look at or leave a comment on or you want to make it larger, you just simply tap on it, It'll bring up that shared item from the news feed. You can click on that picture again, and that'll blow it up to full size. From there, you're viewing the picture. Okay, you want to leave a comment. Uh, tap on the picture. 
tap on comment and here you go you can leave a comment right there uh, on that picture real similar to how it uh, how it works on the computer so they, they try to keep it similar uh, so this is your photo stream down at the very bottom you have notifications so uh, when Facebook sends you an alert that somebody else has commented on a status or has uh, sent you a message written on your wall that'll show up in your notifications you can click on that it'll bring up all your notifications and you can jump right to whatever item you want to uh, from this page so that's a quick rundown of how to sign into Facebook from your phone a quick little tour through the Facebook application showing you everything that it offers and then when you uh, exit the Facebook application you go into your contacts remember how we set that up to synchronize well people that I don't have in my own phone book uh, will show up on here as an entry it'll also synchronize their profile picture and it'll update that from Facebook periodically and pull in any contact information that they have so uh, that's that's nice to have if you lose somebody's phone number if you don't have it programmed in hopefully they'll have it posted online on their Facebook profile and you can uh, just rely on your phone to pull it from there so uh, this is just kind of an example of how that works that's going to do it for today's video if you have any other questions um, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments otherwise this is Mike from ICT Droids signing off have a great day